Hello everybody, and welcome to this very, very first Health Enthusiasm monologue. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Health Enthusiasm monologue by Christophe Jouquet, a spoken column about making customers healthy and happy. When things are tough, we change. Our needs change. And when a crisis hits us, our dreams and aspirations are simply just no longer the same. In past years, we've all aspired to become as healthy and happy as possible. We've been enthusiastic about it more than ever before. It is something which I refer to in, in, in my book as enthusiasm. But we now live in times of pandemic and lockdown. A crisis has hit us and things are tough now. So have our needs changed? They sure have. But the enthusiasm trend has and will only become stronger now. I mean, it was already very obvious in the first week of the pandemic. You surely all noticed how, you know, those quiet, solitary places were suddenly packed with corona walkers. Maybe you yourself have found ways to quickly improve your own health of some sort. Perhaps you bought some additional vitamins, or maybe you looked up for some healthy recipes that could quickly boost your immune system. Or perhaps you've picked up running or cycling again, even if it was just a reason to flood the house for an hour or two. But I see a lot of health enthusiasm today. However, things are tough and a crisis has hit us and our lives have changed. People now live with fear, uncertainty and doubt. Uncertainty about their health, their work, or maybe even just about the near future. And when the dense smoke of this crisis will clear, many will be left exhausted, both mentally and physically. From our healthcare heroes to the ones working in supermarkets, livery companies, accounts, or law firms, to even those doing time with their family. <laughs> I said doing time indeed. But all kidding aside, this should not be underestimated. Already now, people are seeking control. They look for reassurance or for new strengths simply because their basic needs have been under pressure and quite frankly, still will be for a while. I mean, things like safety, work, health, or even sleep, all of these things feel different to us now, less certain. So for some people, their ambitions and aspirations will perhaps no longer be as important. Good health will become a basic need and hygiene factor, let's say, because they want to protect themselves from harm, and that is also what they will expect from brands and companies, to protect them from danger as well. People will look for safety. For other people, safety will just not be enough. They will seek for other ways to shake off that exhaustion, that fatigue, to become healthier and happier again. They will want to be stronger or in better shape. Perhaps they just want to be better prepared in case such a health scare happens again. But they will also look to companies and brands to help them boost their health again. People will search for new strengths. Whatever the case, people are and will be more focused on health than ever before. Their health enthusiasm will be even stronger. And this means that your patients, your customers, your consumers, visitors or students, even employees, whoever it may be you are dealing with, they will all knock on your doors looking for safety or new strengths perhaps even for both, because they, these are very much the most important needs for a while to come. Because when things are tough and when a crisis hits us, our needs change. And we all need safety and strength now. Stay safe and strong, people. I hope you enjoyed this very first Health Enthusiasm monologue.